Hi, we're going to be talking about probability. Probability is basically figuring out what the chances are that a certain result will happen. Or given a certain situation, what are the chances that a certain result that you want to happen would happen. So we're going to be doing this for the third quarter instead of the fourth quarter. So our first probab probability lab will be on week 13. You do want to spend a little bit of the time teaching kids what probability means. The example that it talks about first in this lesson is if you would have three, a roll of candy with four candies in it, three red, one white, what's the probability that the first candy you pull out would be red? And basically this is how probability works. You take the total chances, the total options, um, the count the total options, which are four, and then you figure out how out of the total options, how many of those options are the ones that I might want or that I'm measuring. So in this case, the chances of pulling out a red candy first would be three out of four, the total. The chances of pulling out a white candy first would be one out of four. If you would add another red candy, the chances of pulling a red candy out would be four out of five and pulling a white candy under this circumstance would be one out of five. Um, this lab that they have you, the kids do is to take five white chips and five red chips for a total of 10 chips and half, of, half are white and half are red. So the probability, if all of these were in a candy roll, the probability of pulling out a white chip first would be 5 out of 10. Same with this one, 5 out of 10. Um, and they're going to do something similar like that for the lab. You're going to take your 10 chips, put them under a plate, and then you're going to shake them up and pull one out at a time and figure out which one came out first. And you're going to keep doing that for 20 times. So you're going to put the chips under, pull out one, a white chip, and then you're going to tally it over on a scorecard that has white or red. First one is white. And then you're going to put your chip back under the plate, shake them up again, and pull out another chip, red. And then tally that one on your sheet. And you're going to keep going. Now we expect our result to be, whoops, let me do that again. That would be a white chip, tally, white chip again. So whichever one you lay your hand on first, white chip again. So you can see that even though um, I have a five and ten chance of pulling out a white chip. I am pulling out quite a few more white chips. That's why they have you do it 20 times because the closer you get to 20 the more your results will even out with the true odds available in probability. So that's why they have you do it a number of times. And here is a white one again. Okay, so you keep going like this until basically each team of two kids has a um, total number of 20 tallies on their sheet. And then once you get to this point, then you can ask questions about, you know, what, how many times it turned out white, how many times it turned out red, did you expect that or not. You can also make a, if you do it in pairs, you can make a class total um, of how many times for the class it turned you pulled out a white chip and how many times for the class you pulled out a red chip. Um, if you still have time, you can change the number of chips under the plate. You can take out a, many of the red chips and just do it with um, five white chips and one red chip. I've got some yellow chips in your bag. You could do it with two red, two white, and two yellow chips and just um, see what you want um, 
how to expand. Please have your expansion projects planned, though. Don't just um, decide at the moment. Have a couple thoughts ready for what you will do if you have extra time. And that is probability week 13. Thanks.